Hey, you all out there. I hope you're doing good today. I have a haul from Beauty and the Bead. It's from one of their recent Facebook live sales. Um, there's some broken beads in it and they know about it and I've contacted them. It's no big deal. I told them like, I'm not worried about a few broken beads because that happens. I just let them know that they may want to package these glass beads that they're calling African beads, but they're not African beads. So you know how, if you watch my channel, they'd be like, Rebecca, shut up. <laughs> Rebecca, I don't care. Stop trying to die on that hill. <laughs> okay, so these are the beads that they're calling African, but they're not, but that's cool. That's fine, they're probably traded through Ghana and they just get renamed. Look at these, these beautiful, most likely Indonesian beads. That beautiful chartreuse with kind of like a just a kind of a gray, it's a, not quite white. <clears throat> and then a red brick dot, beautiful. And then we got these feathers with the, um, the striped cane going through it. Aren't those gorgeous? Mama Mia! I love these, I love these a lot. These are about like 34 millimeters long. They're really, I mean, they're long beads. <laughs> so yeah, that's like when I was like telling Beauty and the Bead, I'm like, you know, most likely these countries don't <laughs> kiln and kneel their uh, beads. And so you get stuff like, let's see, where is, oh, there it is. So you can get like blow out to get these air bubbles and then it'll just crack in half. And that's nothing Beauty and the Bead can do anything about. It's just in the process of making the bead. <laughs> they make these beads so fast. Aren't they gorgeous? And then the, and this is the one that actually definitely broke, but I think I can glue it back together. Unfortunately, it is my most favorite color out of the bunch. <laughs> I really wish I had more of these. Um, but these were $15 a strand. I kind of spent a little more on these than I usually would, but why not? Because I don't have any more paid leave. <laughs> My bead buying days are over. Okay, let's see. Um, got some stones here. We got two different size of some kind. Oh boy. That's the thing with Beauty and the Bead. If it's not marked, you're going to have to remember. Oh, these are gorgeous. I'm trying to up my yellow game. Um, they, I mean, they look like a dyed quartz or an enhanced quartz, quartzite, something like that. They're beautiful. All right, and we got some jasper. We got some faceted picture jasper isn't that more uh, uh, <laughs> I can't talk isn't that just amazingly shiny facets on that stone look at the sparkles on those stones I love that and I've been in a Dalmatian jasper mode and so I got some faceted ones of these if I see like Dalmatian jasper lately I just buy it that and graphic feldspar jasper. Uh, oh, oh, I, hmm. I know what this bead is. <laughs> this is me. Oh, me. oh boy, my videos are getting rough. I cannot remember stuff. I have to keep like putting stuff on the screen. Yeah, if, if you like the beady content, remember, I'm pausing all of a sudden to like and subscribe, share and comment <laughs> and remember everything's going to be down in the description below and you can always ask me questions in the comments and if you need my email you know just ask me all right join my facebook group yeah join the diani adorn beads facebook group i'm going to put the name here and the link in the stuff in the description below we'd love to have you join i'm working on building it it's taking me a while because of the health stuff you've all heard the health stuff if you've seen my videos so anyways, this stone, if I remember what it is, some kind of jasper, if I can remember 
Or if you, if you happen to remember, shout it out in the comments. Maybe you can comment it before like I pop it on the screen or something. <laughs> Um, and then we got some like some red jasper, just some basic red jasper. I love this stuff. The, these have always been some of my favorite. Look at those beautiful facets. Those are even fancier than those, <laughs> those picture jasper. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors in there. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And let's see what else we got. We got some agate more agate. Did I really buy all this agate? I don't usually buy agate like this. Um, hmm. I don't know if I did, but I've got it. Nonetheless, I have it. All right. So are these the same? Weird. I don't usually buy this stuff. Um, but it's faceted, uh, like crackle agate, something or another. It's okay. Actually, the more I'm looking at it, the more I like it. I guess it's more like this stuff that doesn't really do much for me. I'm not against it. It has its place. It's just like looking at this strand, I'm like, okay, now what? <laughs> um, but I get more from this than, but the facets on this so it's really smooth and beautiful. And I, <laughs> I had bought this uh, evil eye bead strand, but I forgot that I had got this closeout lot from Chelsea's bead, it was in another video I just posted. So I've got even more evil eye beads and that kind of aqua, teal, turquoise kind of color. Fun, 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 right? And then <laughs> it wouldn't be a normal beauty in the bead hall if I did not get some crazy chunky beads. Oh wow, there, where's that light? Can we? There's a way I can get, can I even get that light to, can you see that light coming through there? Wow, it's like really hard to perceive on the camera. I can see it like, I turn that light out. Oh, there you can get some of that translucency. Can you see that there? It's a really dark stone, but there is some translucency. I'm like, look at the color in that. It's like really dark, but there's beautiful colors in it. Wow. Look at that stone. Let's get that closer to the camera. It almost looks like a fluorite or a amethyst. It's beautiful, beautiful stones. Let's get, let's see if I can look at the camera. They really look so dark on the camera. <clears throat> All right. And then I grab some red and blue shell. I, every time I do a Beauty and the Bead uh, show on Facebook, I seem to buy a bunch of these strands of shell. I just love heishi beads. I didn't have a red. I need some more red heishi beads. That's beautiful. Not blue and that blue and that red. Um, da, 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 da. We got looks like some faceted amethyst here. And we're almost done. I'm blazing through these. Oh, look at these facets on this amethyst. Oh my goodness. Yowza. Yowza. Hocha mama. I'm just gonna keep saying that. I think it's from Seinfeld. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it was like, um, oh, the crazy dad that has been, uh, that was a uh, Frank Stiller. Gosh, he was funny. That's Frank Stiller. And then we got some toggles. We got a big bag of these. Big, chunky. They're nice and lightweight. They don't bend. No, they're nice and tough. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big, chunky toggles. Look at that. I love it. For big, bold bracelets and big, bold. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> necklaces and anklets. Yeah. That was $4 for eight toggle clasps. All right, and the last things we got are some shell beads that uh, were a dollar a bag. I don't usually buy this kind of thing, but I was like, why not? I'm gonna experiment with something. I thought lemons were cute. I love the idea of a lemony kitchen. A lemony fresh kitchen, don't we all? Ooh, you can see it's printed on the shell. It's not super thin. It's not super thick, so it's a pretty small hole. Show some of those. And the last thing we got are these printed shell beads that have a zebra type pattern on them. And they're printed on both sides and they are lovely. Lovely, lovely. So what was your favorite? Did you have a favorite? Um, was it these wild, like, Betty beads? <laughs> Betty beads. Um, let's see, is it shell? Is it agate? Is it jaspers? Um, is it, oh yeah, there's more jasper. Is it some kind of enhanced quartz? Is it amethyst? Or would it be the evil eye strand? Or would it be the Indonesian beads called African beads? I love them all. I love them all. They're all my babies. <laughs> You're at home with me now, babies. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just throw you on the floor with the rest of the kids. <laughs> right, Talia? Is that right? That's right. See, I got her. She's she's starting to talk back. We're getting her trained. This this adopted cat is a is a new cat. Anyways, oh, I'm over 12 minutes. Uh, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for um, supporting my channel. Um, again, like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, join my Diane Doran Beads Facebook group, and let me know what you think of the beads. Hopefully, the next time I see you. Do I have any? Well, actually, I have like two more unboxing. Oh, my God. Anyways, right. anyways. Okay. Thanks for hanging with me. I hope you feel good. I hope your family feels good. I hope everybody's doing good in your life. Much blessings to you. Much peace to you. Much love to you. Bye-bye.